It's something you might hear late at night in a room full of smoke that smells like a skunk. What if the universe is self-aware? What if it is conscious? Could it be a giant brain? What does science have to say about this? Let's look at the evidence and also speculate about how it could actually be true. Coming up right now. The lazy answer goes something like this. We humans are made of pieces of the universe. We are conscious, so the universe is conscious through us. This is the standard short answer to the question of, is the universe conscious? But could the universe have a consciousness separate from us? This concept has a name. It's called panpsychism. It's an essential aspect of many religions, from the Old Testament's omnipresent God to the Brahman of Hinduism and Buddhism. In fact, in Buddhism, nothing exists except consciousness. Theoretical physicist Freeman Dyson, the man who conceived of the Dyson sphere, embraced panpsychism and said that the universe not only operates through our consciousness, but a consciousness of its own. So could this be true? First, we have to establish what consciousness is. Neuroscientist and psychiatrist Giulio Tononi at the University of Wisconsin-Madison has proposed a way to measure how conscious a thing is. He proposes that consciousness has to do with how much control a being has over itself or other things around it. This theory separates intelligence from consciousness, which are two different things. Supercomputers, for example, which are highly intelligent, can routinely outthink humans and beat them at chess and jeopardy, but they don't have a will of their own. The programmer controls it. So intelligence and consciousness are two different things. A being need not be intelligent to be conscious. Based on this line of thinking, we can say that a tree is more conscious than a rock. A worm is more conscious than a tree. A cat is more conscious than a worm. A human is more conscious than a cat. And the ultimate consciousness could be the universe itself. If this is the way that consciousness works, then the complexity of an organism's brain has something to do with its level of consciousness. And scientists, in fact, have good evidence that the seed of consciousness resides in brains. Consciousness seems to be an emergent property of highly interconnected and communicating systems like the brain, which is an interconnected network of neurons. And what are neurons? They're triggered by certain stimuli and can send signals to each other and large complex networks of these neurons seem to emerge into consciousness. Is there any evidence of such a brain or network of connections in the universe? There is a humongous network of galaxies in the universe, many hundreds of billions of galaxies. This is not dissimilar to the network of the billions of interconnected neurons in our brain. The difference appears to be that each of our brain cells can communicate or at least fire signals to other brain cells. Do the galaxies have such a communication mechanism between them? It doesn't appear so, but you have to remember that at the center of almost all galaxies, there is a black hole. It's like the nucleus of a brain cell. What's happening inside a black hole? We have no idea because our equations break down at the singularity at the center of a black hole. This is the point where time and space cease to exist and Einstein's equations don't work. Is it possible that something is happening here that we just don't know about? The black hole could be analogous to a brain cell if somehow they were connected to each other and could send signals to each other. If that was the case, a vast network of communicating trillions of black holes would act like a gigantic information processor and indeed be intelligent and possibly conscious. This would truly be a kind of super consciousness that could theoretically control not only our universe, but perhaps time and space itself. But I think I'm getting way too excited about a completely speculative possibility. Practically, we have to ask, does the universe need to be conscious in order to arrive at its present state? In other words, does what we see around us need a consciousness to direct the events that led up to what we observe? that lead to life. Would what we see right now be any different if the universe was utterly without consciousness? There is no evidence that consciousness is necessary to direct the events that led up to the present state. Science allows for evolution to occur on its own over long periods of time with no conductor necessary. What about the beginning of time? Did a consciousness direct the Big Bang to occur? This cannot be ruled out. It's possible that a consciousness had a hand in it. But assigning that event as being divinely inspired through a cosmic consciousness with no evidence 
is just as speculative as saying that it was made through laws of physics which have not yet been discovered. In addition, there's no evidence that anything after the Big Bang has been under conscious control because events after the Big Bang can largely be explained within the laws of physics we understand. And these laws do not need a consciousness to be carried out. Neuroscientist Christoph Koch, former professor at Caltech, believes that biological organisms are conscious because when they approach new situations, they can change their behavior in order to navigate it. He believes this is the way to measure the level of consciousness of an organism. So even a tree is conscious because it changes its behavior like shedding leaves in winter, fighting disease. Would our universe be considered conscious given this standard of measurement? The universe does not seem to change course given a situation. The laws of physics appear to apply uniformly all over the observable universe, and no deviation from these laws has ever been observed. Yes, there are things we don't understand, like dark matter and dark energy, but they are present everywhere uniformly and behave in a way we can predict. If the universe was making decisions, we would likely see some change in the universe's behavior that were not predictable, that could only be explained by a conscious decision maker. What then explains the fine tuning of the universe? The gravitational constant being what it is, for example, being so precise. Other laws like entropy and gravity having a magnitude such that galaxies can form out of stars and planets can form from the leftovers of stars and complex molecules can form on these planets whose interactions over time lead to intelligent beings with consciousness as the end result. Is this just an accident or the product of something deeper, perhaps some kind of consciousness that permeates the universe and gives it purpose? The faithful will argue that God had a hand in it. The panpsychist will argue that a conscious universe set up these laws from the moment of creation in order to maximize its value. A materialist will argue that there is no fine tuning, no decision maker, that given enough universes in a multiverse and enough time, a universe such as ours, where conscious intelligent beings can evolve, is inevitable. <laughs>